guys, this is Liz, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm working on a commission for Brenton Nets on his, for his channel of Backwaters and Backroads. Hopefully, if you're into travel type stuff, I recommend that channel. I'll have it linked in the description below. Also, sorry if I sound very like sore throat like or anything of that nature sick it's just my sinuses flaring up this time of year and that really bothers me a lot so just keep that in mind if you don't mind at all anyway let's begin with what i do for doing this kind of artwork what I ultimately do first is create thumbnails and then putting them into perspective of what I like onto the canvas along with just making sure that certain paints off to the side of colors that I want to primarily present are picked out perfectly. Another thing I begin with and in this segment here I am using the pedigree empire in red however some other pencils I would use to sketch are the coal erase pencils and also the Dixon Ticonderoga red erasable pencils and if you're interested in finding that I'll be sure if I can find them on Amazon I'll link them into the description below I'm currently in the process of using masking fluid, which y'all would see in a little bit after I get done sketching here. But while sketching, it is pretty hard to get certain pencils onto the canvas, especially as far as the Colt erase pencils. They are really hard just to show up in general on a canvas compared to on a paper, which I used the Colt erase pencil on. However, the pedigree pencil really helps since it's more of a softer lead onto a canvas. Anyway, here I am putting on the masking fluid and the masking fluid brand is the Dale Rowney Simply brand art masking fluid. And really it does take a minute to dry and it does harm some brushes. So if you don't want to use anything of that nature while doing that, then it's gonna take a minute for it to dry at least, so. And as you see here, something I'm starting to do lately is just doing a light wash of colors rather than starting out very heavily. And this is using the Apple Barrel brand paint that you can get at Walmart. And what I'm trying to do here is practice more patience when I'm doing my artwork, since this kind of like, especially with a lot of pressure to do something, sometimes it does create where I want to do it really fast, especially if I want to make a video on it. And that's something I really need to like experiment with and be a lot more calm and also a lot more patient with it though while doing this wash of different colors and whatnot and just trying to do them very lightly it is a very relaxing experience i've done this with a, another painting prior to doing this one just so i can get the feel of what i want to accomplish so it it's still a learning process, of course, as I mentioned, and really, it is pretty hard just to, like to sit here and try to get black colors on the canvas very lightly before putting in any effort to create a full-on illustration. But for the meantime, I am just trying to do the best I can with what I got. And usually this patience does help with just clearing my mind. So if you are a painter and you're actually, or even just simple stuff with doodling, 
if you do deal with that and you don't really know what to do, especially if you rush things a lot, I do recommend trying to relax a bit and let it go as slow as possible. That's something I guess is like a small tidbit that helps me. It may not help you, who knows, but I recommend it again. I know I'm kind of repeating myself and I'm sorry for that. While I'm doing the rest of this wash on camera, I'm going to take a break for a moment and let y'all watch this as it continues. And I'll come back and explain what else I'm doing after the fact. So, BRB, I guess, for a couple of minutes or so. Add a bit of a tidbit and address the postcards that are in the thumbnail of this video along with some other things I did whenever I got the commission payment for this. Ten sent a lot of postcards and photo photos. I was about to say photography. I don't know why, but same difference, I guess. Anyway, um, I'll show those up on the screen now, and I just want to make sure y'all know that with these postcards they are going to be exclusive for his channel and his viewers and if you want to order them through him that's totally fine and i don't know i find this really cool that to have this type of opportunity and as far as the images and cards that he has sent me I, I'll put those up on the screen now while the wash is going on anyway um I hope y'all are enjoying this video so far I know this isn't my typical content I'm usually very political on my channel but I'm deciding trying to get more into a different state of mind when doing this type of content since it's a lot more relaxing for me to actually just talk about my art process sometimes and sometimes political stuff can get a little out of hand as y'all see now i'm starting to build up my paints onto the process already and this is just to continue it being flat at this moment not trying to build up any texture right now as far as like details because making sure that the colors can stand out and be pretty bright is something that I need to take into consideration and for that I'm just making sure again just flat colors in order to build up the detail as I go along. I know that's probably kind of not the best way to describe it. I'll probably get better with understanding what I'm trying to say as things go on. But right now it's really just in its own way it's building up the shadows and also what colors really need to be in certain areas compared to let's say it just staying in a wash zone or having the washed zone area and then putting layers and that wouldn't look so right it would look very foggy rather than actually like a detailed painting so 
that's just the best way I can describe it so far. <laughs> I typically don't paint animals that much. If I do paint animals, it's usually trying to be more imaginative or creature-esque with them. So painting a dog for, I think, I wouldn't say the first time since I did do like paintings and stuff like that in kindergarten of animals and whatnot with like different projects that they had whenever I was in public school. But for the most part, just actually going out here and doing something different, I would say, kind of took me out of my comfort zone, but in a positive way, because really I need to focus on doing more nature pieces other than my typical abstract type work or even my characters, to say the least. And that's just like a small struggle within myself, especially whenever I have a small project that I'm trying to work on. I have like a whole notebook that I'm dedicating to writing notes in and putting in little pieces here and there of creating a small comic idea that is very utopian or dystopian like. I'm trying to merge the two. That way it's like after like an apocalyptic setting but where society is trying to be rebuilt again. Like it's just something small I'm doing that I'm pretty passionate about for a few years now. So, yeah. But doing these nature pieces after such a long time of n not doing them, well, not necessarily a long time since there's some stuff that I still do that needs nature pieces like skies and clouds and all that good stuff, but nothing on the lines of, like, back to doing lakes or even trees or whatnot like that's something I've been needing to get back into so I'm really thankful to actually get this as a commission so it kind of pushes me to do it more often I know that's probably a bit silly but it, it really helped a lot And as you see here, I am actually starting to add some detail to the tree as far as bark. And really, I'm just trying to do the best I can, especially since I've never really done trees so up close before. And the only, like, other tree paintings that I have done are usually, like, evergreen-type trees and whatnot. And there's a fall painting that I have that hey, to my Uncle Joe, you need to actually come and pay and pick that up if you're still interested. <laughs> anyway, like that was like the closest I could get to actually doing a tree at that time. And I'm pretty sure that was back in 2018 whenever I made that painting. So I need to check the date on it, but I know it was back then. So actually going in here and trying to do the bark and even just like fur texture on um, Wavy here, which is Brenton's beagle. Um, it's really just something different, something new, and it it's fun. I, I'm really happy about this. I don't know why. It, it was really fun just to have fun with this. So thank you for giving me this opportunity.
And as you see here, I am starting to add more detail to the painting, especially with starting with the bushes and trees first. And this is really so that way I can get it to where it's more in depth rather than the ground area. And also like doing some of the background too, so that way it doesn't look so bearing. And I don't know, it's really relaxing again. I'm probably just rambling on, but I try to follow by a little tiny script that I made. But as you see here, I'm trying to get to where I'm doing leaves on the ground. They look more like stones than leaves to me. Like, it, it's something kind of funny with that, but really relaxing. Just kind of dabbing the brush and forming the paints like that. Like, I'm no Bob Ross by any means, but it follows suit with that. Even just trying to make sure, like, with the lake and stuff in the background trying to make sure it has more of a streak to it rather than a flat surface. And this is a light and dark technique that I usually do whenever I do nature pieces and that is to layer dark sometimes and layer some light, layer a bit of dark and like kind of go back and forth with it. And right I had to go get another paint and all that. Like, I'll run back and forth to where I have my paints set up where I can easily get to them. In some cases, when it comes to some paints where they can't come out, I have to actually open up the cap and get the paint out. So that's just something kind of silly that I do. honesty if you enjoy this kind of content please feel free to like or subscribe like you don't have to but please feel free to if you enjoy this if you do kind of want me to continue on doing types of videos like this where I talk more about my art rather than other commentary then please just let me know in the comments if you enjoy this more than that and I'll try to incorporate this more into my not necessarily daily routine but in my video routine and yeah I'm pretty sure I'm not sure if I got it on video or not but whenever I'm done with a painting especially like this I'm starting to seal it with a Mod Podge and that really helps a lot in some ways to keep the paint sealed down in it and I also have it where I can either do it in a glossy or a matte finish. I decided the glossy for this since that really fits more of the nature motif than a matte finish which I usually tend to like matte finishes whenever I do something that's just me but I wanted to go glossy with this one and see how it turns out and it came out pretty shiny so yeah. In all seriousness, thank you for watching this little painting video that I have. And 
of course, again, if you enjoy, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, too, you can comment those and see where I can easily improve. I know my audio quality isn't the best at the moment, but for the most part, I'm learning as I go. So again, like, thank you guys for supporting my channel. It means a lot. And that is it for this video. Thank y'all again for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.